An upstate veteran and director turned a longtime idea into a project to help others. The documentary Ranger is now up on streaming services. They tell our Kylie Jones how this documentary went from a war journal to a project to help other veterans and their loved ones. I don't think you can go through some of that stuff and, and come out the other end the same way you went in. Looking through a lens often closed to the public eye. I was in from 03 to 07. I was in the Army at uh, 2nd Range Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment. The lens of Sergeant Dave Waterhouse. First, it was to serve as a war journal to share with his children one day. The war never ends for you. There's the war and then there's the war at home that never goes away. The idea born 17 years ago in a garage playing darts and sharing war stories with his neighbor Sean Spencer. I do remember after hearing these stories for a while telling him this like this is good stuff like people would want to hear this. That idea snowballed into Ranger. There is no glory in this. There is fact and that's it. There's truth. There's the harsh realities of it. A documentary sharing the triumph, brutality of war, the bond that, that exists between brothers in, in war, the pain, the suffering, the heartache, and there's, there's joy that comes with it too. I mean, I've probably never laughed harder. But casting light on the tribulations. But I've also probably cried harder than I ever have in those four years. Waterhouse wanted to go where many other people don't. You don't have to be 10 feet tall and bulletproof. You can be vulnerable. To paint a picture with his stories for families, friends, loved ones. And just for a moment, give them a taste of what it must have been like, you know, on a daily basis there. And show others they're not walking alone. This isn't just Dave Waterhouse's story. This is every single person I served with, every single person that was in the 75th Ranger Regiment with me, every single person that's gone over there and cut their teeth for this country. This is for all of us. In Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.